guys, it's Dave and Duncan back from Metal Epidemic for another album review. And for this review, Duncan and I have been checking out the new EP from Canadian bands Old and Grail. The band's collaboration EP, Blood of Fools, will be released on April 20th via Salt of the Earth Records. So, Canadian metal bands Old and Grail share a guitarist and producer in Greg Dawson, as well as an insatiable desire to bludgeon the ears of their followers with savage riffs, razor-sharp hooks, and an unwavering commitment to make things crushing. Old Grail is both bands working in collaboration, and the Blood of Fools EP is the spawn of this unholy union. The EP was recorded both remotely and at BWC Studios and mixed, mastered, produced by guitarist Greg Dawson at BWC Studios. So, um, we we reviewed the old album, yep. uh, Pilgrimage, back in 2021. Um, and then I think the, the guys did actually send us the Grail EP from 2021 as well. Yep. Um, we didn't manage to review that. Um, so, so we're making things right by reviewing this new collab EP, um, which I was, I was really excited to hear actually, because I, I like both bands firstly, so that's obviously awesome in itself. Um, but I, I kind of love the fact they've done a collaboration rather than a split EP. Yeah, that's not common, so. No, uh, split EPs as well, EPs in general, to be honest, not my thing, split EPs, even less so. You're so set in your ways, man. Ah, just, no. just, just let it into your heart. I'm, I'm too old for this shit, Duncan. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, yeah. However, a collaboration EP, you say? Oh, okay then. Colour me intrigued. Um, so, um, for those of you not in the know, um, old are primarily a kind of doomy, sludge, soaked behemoth. Um, very weighty, riff heavy, full of grit, but you know, still great hooks. Uh, Grail, on the other hand, a bit more aggressive. Um, still got some of the doom and stoner in there, but a bit more, a bit more metal kind of overall. Same guitarist as old, so riffs wise, um, plenty of fucking great riffs. Um, okay, so what can we say about this EP? Um, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I loved about this, Duncan. <laughs> Let me tell you what I loved Please about tell this. Me. Um, this. This didn't sound exactly as I was expecting. Um, it's not just the. It's not just the two bands merged together to create a, like a more metallic old or a more doomy grail. Um, yeah. This. This has ideas and elements that push out with what they've done before as individual bands. But you can also hear there's two different sides to this as well. Yeah. Um, the uh, the first track is called Separation Anxiety. Um, and that was the first kind of surprise because it, it kicks off with this almost like Swedish death metal guitar tone with a, just a, a riff that's just full of piss and vinegar. Um, you've got attacking drums. You've got a streak of uh, melodic death metal in the riffs. And then you have like two vocal tones that are like almost overlapping to give you this like kind of abrasive but melodic vibe in the vocals and it just like as an opener should for the first like three minutes of the track it just tears you a new asshole mm -hmm. um just like all out and then it drops into this kind of dark gloomy atmospheric section which is all like full of melodic layers and big kind of swirling riffs and and clean vocals um and just when you think, I was thinking, all right, so they're probably just going to kind of wind things down um, on, on that kind of note. They don't. Um, they, they, they fucking crane kick you in the nuts with another blast of that kind of melodic death aggression. So not what I was expecting um, from the first track on the EP, but thoroughly enjoyed the kind of direction that it took. Track two, though, the title track, was maybe more of what I was kind of expecting from the mm -hmm. EP. Um, this is more in line with a kind of southern sludge vibe. Your know, big bendy riffs, uh, really kind of grizzled vocals, uh, just a, a shitload of swagger and groove, um, but also with some great um, atmospheric melody towards the end. 
And it's a track you'll instantly be pulled into and, and not want to leave. Once those riffs grab a hold of you, you're just there and just like, yes, just keep fucking hitting me with those riffs. The guitar tone is slightly more sludge mm-hmm. shaped, um, and but it doesn't sound completely different from the tone on the opening track. So it still kind of fits the mold of the of the EP. Um, Senile Dementia then goes back to the more venomous attack that we heard on the EP opener. Guitar tone is again more tweaked towards a more kind of deathy vibe. Um, and this track gives you a great balance of that kind of pacey, uh, face ripping riffs and some kind of slow head banging grooves. Also got a nice touch of a, a bit of a gothic melody to give you a little bit of contrast in the track as well. Um, Unseen Reaper follows the pattern of the EP, delivers something far slower and doomier in tone, again giving you that kind of dual vocal attack. Um, some of the riffs on that actually kind of remind me a little bit of Conan um, mm. at times, just really very weighty and very kind of fuzzed out. Um, and then you've got Faith Healer, which finishes the EP with a bang, uh, going more direct um, and leaving, um, leaning even more into that kind of death metal territory. Um, and the more the more I kind of listen to this, the more I hear it, the more I kind of love that side of old grail i think i think they could make an album of all out death metal and it would be fucking killer like i would 100 percent listen to that um i especially loved how how low um the how low the the clean vocals they added to this this track it like it gave it a real a real hook um and you know something that that um that got stuck in your head afterwards um i also have to have to hand it to uh, the, the two guitarists on the EP, Greg Dawson and uh, Chris uh, Hippy Hughes, um, they've pulled at all the stops. You know, they've delivered an EP with so many cool moments, um, like riffs wise. Um, I love the variation, the doom and sludge and death on this. Um, it works brilliantly, uh, but they've they've mixed it so well that the tracks don't feel like disconnected from each other. Um, even though you can hear them moving into um, something more like death metal quoted it's never never jarring or makes you feel like you're listening to two separate bands um i think i think the way they've written the tracks has a lot to do with that obviously but i think the production also binds this kind of ep together um there, there's small tweaks to the guitar tone um when it needs to go more kind of vicious but it never feels too far away from that sludge tone either um, same with the drums you can hear um uh, more kind of like bottom end and the toms and the bass drum and the snare tone is slightly different uh, but not enough that it sticks out when you're listening to it um, i also love the two vocal styles i think the the two styles really gave the tracks a bit of variety nice texture so i thought they really worked great um and again we mentioned this on the the old review i think greg's production is, is fantastic yeah. i i love how natural and, and earthy this is like none of it sounds overproduced or clinical it's, it's got substance it's got feeling to oh, it's it. in the room there are Absolutely. i think it's on a uh, senile dementia if you have if you've got a good set of headphones on and you listen to the guitar open the track you can hear the snare and yeah. the background rattle yeah yeah all the guitars coming in and mm. you just, i i love that because like yeah. you, you can pick it's not being removed no nor should it be no absolutely so. not um, yeah, and, and most of all, it sounds fucking really, really heavy. Um, you know, the, those big groovy parts are really satisfying, which is, you know, what you want from a, a metal release. Um, yeah, great idea. I thought it was a really cool idea collaborating like this. Um, and once again, another quality product from, from Greg at um, BWC Studios. Um, if, if Old Grail went on tour as a band, I'd go see it, Duncan. I'd go and see it. Um, what about yourself? What do you think of this, uh, this EP? Classic Duncan line coming up here. There's a lot to, a lot to like here, Dave. Um, and there is, like, I, I think you mentioned, you mentioned a lot of, of really interesting points that I think are worth coming back to just to kind of give a bit of emphasis on on why this shouldn't work as well as it does. Mm. Um, specifically in that you have two bands. Yes, they have shared DNA in that the guitarist is working in both. Mm. Um but you have two bands with two distinctly different sounds. Um, you're bringing them in to do a collaboration as opposed to the split that we mentioned. So in theory, if it was a one for us, one for them scenario, mm-hmm. like a split, yeah. um, it, sh- it, it wouldn't work. Yeah. However, you could argue that this very much is a one for us, one for them Except what they've done is they've tailored the sounds of both bands to be closer to the middle and then out into territory they've not done before. Yeah. Yeah. 
which is the linking element with it. It's very, very, very fucking smart musically because mm. you don't compromise either sound of either units, but yep. at the same time, the addition is the middle ground that meets the two. Mm. Um, and that's that's right from the off uh, in separation anxiety, which, like you said, has just a sound that you're not really expecting. It's dark and brooding, a punching fucking guitar tone, mm. um, and great work on the uh, uh, on the vocals. Um, I did think at that point, very much like yourself, that all oh, right, well, maybe we'll just ditch the the, the kind of sludge. Mm. And Blood of Fools is about the sludgiest sl- song that ever pulled itself out of a fucking swamp. Um, <laughs> It's, you know, it, like, the, the riff is just so, like, it's so whiskey-soaked. It's, it's unbelievable. Mm. Um, and, but there's elements even on that where they push things out, out of the comfort zone, very much like separation anxiety and those joining parts. Um, vocally, this works better than it should. Mm. Uh, musically, it's more cohesive than it should be. Yeah, yeah. Like no two tracks side by side sound the same or even necessarily in the same genre, but mm. because of the elements of crafted in between, the journey through them is actually surprisingly cohesive. Yeah. Um, very much like yourself, because I'm getting into a bit of an old school death metal kick recently. Um, Faith Healer is is giving me shades of something that I, I kind of feel like they should do more of. Mm. Um, had this been an album, for example, like one or two just like old school death metal songs would have would have would have made my my fucking erection stiffer um because <laughs> I, I do feel there are elements that they pull in where i'm just like you get it not a gimmick you, mm. you get it it's, it's, it's in the song right you get it there's not a stretch none of these genres that these guys play in are like we're not saying well they crafted you know grime uh with fucking southern florida blackmail <laughs> and a genre that shouldn't work it's not, not they're not that disparate at all yeah. but as bands collaborating together bands not to kind of like try and reinvent the wheel in a conversation a band is formed by people that spend time in a room jamming stuff out mm. yes you can bring a musician in to collaborate on top but that musician is doing what they do on top of your music mm. these guys are collaborating as one large band yeah so you've got two different, yeah, granted, there's like the shared component of the guitarist who's going to be driving things. But the band members, usually that takes time to acclimate, get a feel for grooves and rhythm, all the rest. Hmm. And it just feels to be relatively effortless on this. You yeah. would never know. Like if someone was telling me Old Grail was a band, they'd been away for a couple of years and this was their COVID EP. Yeah. Um, I would believe that. I yeah. would 100% believe that. Mm-hmm. So I can't. I can't stress how how well put together this is. And then the last point, production is fucking spot on. Yet to hear something that this guy has done that doesn't sound great. Um, He really has an ear for this genre of music and can deliver it really, really, really well. It's audible. It's got all that, all that fuzz and all that, all that disgusting kind of sludgy stuff in there mm. but when it turns his hands to something that requires a bit more of a quicker pace none of it's lost it's, mm. it's all captured very 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 well um yeah I, I mean this is i don't know if i expected it to be like this um i'm happy it is like this yeah. um it just reminds me that there are two great canadian groups out there that are criminally under listened to mm. and um as an entry point to either one of those groups this is a great fucking start you listen to this you can branch off to either one true. and um and, and continue musical journey either side of the coin mm. so yeah this what this really did work a lot better than a than it actually needs to to be honest <laughs> like yeah. had it been more like a a split and they'd said it's a collaboration but we all knew it was a split then i could have still you know given it heavy props but the fact it works as well as it does is it's kind of baffling a little bit Mm. yeah uh so um the scores for blood of fools by ogreo yeah this is this is thoroughly enjoyable um it's it's riffy it's it's varied it's well written um very well produced um okay it's maybe not reinventing any wheels um, but it delivers um, with some little additions that I wasn't expecting. Um, as I said at the beginning, I'm not an EP guy usually, um, but 
I enjoyed this um, and I'll definitely go back and check it out again. Um, this would probably score a uh, 4 out of 5 for me. Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, yeah, the same. Uh, like, same. We are we are syncing up quite a lot tonight. Um, yeah, this, oh, it's, it's great. It's like I, I would like this is one of these ones where someone asked me what I've been listening to recently. I would have no like hesitation yeah. at all in saying uh, "Blood of Fools" by Old Grail. Check mm. out it's an EP. Yeah. But hey, like good. once again, like these are these are meaty songs. Like not one yeah. track under five minutes, so you get your money's worth for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Old Grail and their new EP, Blood of Fools, will be released on April 20th via Salt of the Earth Records. Um, I'll put links below to the bands and um, the uh, the pre-order. If there's a, a Bandcamp link, I'll stick that in there. Check them out. Happy to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Stick some comments below. That is the review. Thank you for checking it out. We'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, take care. Speak to you soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>